be the first find right here, folks. Looks like an insulator. Aqua blue one. Dominion. Let's see if I get some of that dirt out of it. Some of the dirt out of it. Alright. Not a bad first sign. Onward. Bought this huge insulator out. Check it out. Never seen one like that before. Unfortunately, corners busted off the back of it. That would have been a sweet looking little find. Oh well, on to the next. Right on. On to the next, folks. Yellow. This exploring's paying off. Let's get these. A white one. I haven't got a white one. good insulators here.
It's a nice shaped one. I don't have one of those. Armstrong. Another one down in here. Yeah, that's all together too. Cool. All right. Good day, folks. Hope you're all doing well today. Today I thought I'd uh, go over the insulators I found uh, in 2019. I got them all together here. This is all of them. And they're all basically different for the most part. And uh, so I'll start these two here I found together on the same, what would have been the same pole. This one here is a Kerr. And this one here is an Armstrong. Basically identical. Color is a little bit different on them. And uh, they're in excellent condition. So that was a good little find. You can see the different colors of them there. Here's a nice one. It's a Heming Ray. A number 20. There's a little bruise in the glass right there, but beautiful color. One tooth gone off the bottom of it right there. Other than that, it's a beauty. Displays nicely. Set that back down there. Here's a nice Dominion, Dominion 9 one. It's got a old, really light greenish hue to it. And it's in uh, perfect condition. Check it out. Yeah, you can really see the greenish color in it that way. Yep, yeah, it's a nice one. Here's a nice uh, Heming Ray 21. They call these ones uh, beehives for obvious reasons. And this one is in pretty good condition other than this hairline uh, crack in it. But it's a beauty. Check it out. Nice colors. Here's one here I thought was going to be a real beauty. I've seen it in Brookfield. But unfortunately, the back's busted up on it there. But that would have been really nice. Excellent color. And these two here I found together. There's no markings on them. No uh, identifying, identifying marks. This one's got the, the glaze is kind of screwed up on it. Here it's not chipped. That's the way it was made. But uh, I was happy to find that white one. That was a nice little find. And then uh, these two... CPs, which is uh, Canadian porcelain, found those together. Those are nice, both in excellent condition. Uh, you don't, I don't find many of these ones like that around. You don't see many, so it was good to have those. And then finally, I got this radio lightning arrester. And this is uh, probably in the 20s, 1920s, 1925 maybe. There's several of them online, like on eBay. They're going anywhere from 15 to 50 bucks. As usual, they're always overpriced, but it's a nice little find. Nice color, yep. Well, that's it, folks. Hope you enjoyed the uh, clips and the wrap up. Like I say, these are all my finds of uh, insulators from 2019. And I'm looking forward to finding some more in 2020. So, uh, hope you all stay tuned for those. And thanks for watching. We'll catch you all later.